Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in support of uh, an amendment that would tie bar House Bill 4609 to House Joint Resolution K and House Bill 4341. Um, if I may, in order to explain my amendment, I need to explain for a moment exactly uh, what the bill that I'm amending uh, does. Uh, House Bill 4609 would uh, eliminate the earned income tax credit here in the state of Michigan. And um, the purpose of my amendment is to address the inequality in our tax system that the earned income tax credit is designed to help offset. It doesn't do a perfect job. It doesn't go nearly as far as I think we should go. But by eliminating the EITC, we are creating a huge gap, a huge problem uh, in terms of being able to work, make work pay in this state. And so my amendment is designed to address that. Why do we need this amendment? We need this amendment because the median wage in this state has fallen by 25% since 1999. For too many in our state, a full-time job does not equate to a livable wage. And for so many in our state, you have to pay nearly twice as much of your income in state and local taxes as the wealthiest 1% in our, in our state. So my amendment is designed to say, well, if we're going to get rid of the earned income tax credit, which I believe we should not do, we must take action to make our tax system more equal. Now, we have some people who will say that for some reason they say that getting rid of the EITC is about tax fairness. And I can only say to that that calling that tax fairness is something that I think George Orwell's characters would blush at that kind of statement. What we have in this, in this state is an extremely unfair tax system, and what we are doing by repealing the EITC is making it much, much worse. So my amendment would do two things. It would put on the ballot a possibility of, re of repealing the prohibition on the graduate income tax, and it would enact legislation to establish graduated rates in our tax system. The net effect of all of that would be a 95% tax cut. Again, 95% of people in our state would receive a tax cut under this legislation. The result of all of that would be that everyone in our state would pay the same percentage of their income in taxes. Everybody would pay roughly 8.5% of their income in state and local taxes. That is tax equality. That is tax fairness. And Mr. Speaker, I urge everybody in this room to give this consideration and to vote yes on my amendment. Thank you, Representative Townsend. The question before the House is on the adoption of the amendment. The clerk will open the board. The amendment is not adopted.